it's always been like this. It's just kind of something I put up with. But at the same time, it's frustrating because she can't see past, okay, she's got a husband and two kids. And may that, maybe that's normal for most people. Doesn't mean that if it doesn't happen, there's something defective about me. She kind of works the like, you're defective angle. And I don't feel that I'm, I'm defective, but not in a bad way. Obsessive Cat Lady says she is a catch. Cat Ladies analyzes. Welcome to Manusphere Highlights Daily. We really appreciate your comments in the comment section because we learn so much from you guys and you inspire us to keep working. When you read the comments, sooner or later you will run into cat ladies and cat stock comments. So we decided to take a closer look at some cat ladies and we found this documentary called Cat Ladies Obsessive Cat Owners Documentary from Real Stories. You can find the link in the description. And before we get into this, I want to mention that these ladies in this documentary are extreme cases. However, there are some interesting lessons we can learn from them. Shout out to the Patreon gang. Salute! The original video is going to be on Patreon because we have to respect the YouTube guidelines. That's why you will get a censored and filtered YouTube friendly version. So if you like what we do and you want to experience our content to the fullest extent, support us on Patreon. Now it's time for us to dive into this and do what we have to do. Because we men and we. Yeah. We men and we. Yeah. Honestly, I'm like a walking contradiction. I wear my heart on the sleeve, but at the same time, I'm like, sometimes I'm just like pretty cold. I have friends. I go out. Not like a lot. I have a full time job. Um, I'm in real estate. I sell new houses. It's feast and famine. Most people would never know I have a cat problem upon meeting me. And then hopefully by the time they get to know me, I'm so charming it doesn't matter. <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> I appear to be put together, you know, friendly, whatever. People can't believe that at 35 years old that I'm not married and I don't have any kids. I think I'm a great catch. And then it's kind of depressing that I guess no one else has seen that. So this cat lady thinks she's a great catch. And what is supposed to make her a great catch? Her job? Her car? Her degree? This lady makes the same mistake that most women make in modern society. And that is forgetting or not knowing that we men decide if you are a great catch or not. She knows that having 16 cats is awkward, okay? Now we're gonna let her talk some more and you will understand that there is more than meets the eye. And then it's kind of depressing that I guess no one else has seen that. But again, then I have the cats as an excuse. But I'm fine, don't worry, I'm not like, I'm not on medicine or anything like that anymore. She's not on medicine, at least not anymore. She's using the cats as an excuse. Like I've said in previous videos, a lot of women are on antidepressants or take some form of mental health medication. So on the surface, they might seem all right. But once you get to know them, you will figure out that she's totally not relationship material. And these cats are not solving the problem. Like she says herself, she uses them as an excuse. Honestly, I'd be happy with like conjugal visits at this point. Like, I don't care. We don't, you don't have to get married. We don't have to like have a kid or anything. Even, you know, separate rooms would be fine. And then I could have my thing and that would be fine. I'd kick the cats out of the room. And I've actually had a couple boyfriends when I've had several cats, like, I mean, a dozen. Just one of them was stoned all the time. So maybe I think that's why. And then he must have forgot to smoke one day. And then he was like, oh my God, I've got a girlfriend. And then that's what ended that. It wasn't the cats. <laughs> <laughs> when you hear something like this you wonder if it's scripted but at the same time we've seen so much foolishness so whatever this part is interesting because the cat lady stereotype is inaccurate according to a study in 2019 stating that cat ladies are no more lonely depressed or anxious than anyone else link in the description so these cats don't fill the void of being in a relationship with a person Check this out. And I'm not saying to them that they're not enough 
because they are plenty. The cats are plenty. But I need something else to do outside. It would be really nice to have a boyfriend, but it would be really nice to have a friend. I hope that one day, someday, I'll be able to, to have a relationship with a person that is just as amazing. You know, but for now, cats are where it's at. These cats help them with the loneliness to a certain degree. And that's my next point. Human interaction is different. Check this out. I don't see anything wrong with being a cat lady and having 16 cats. I can take care of them, but I'm not hurting anybody. How does it have anything to do with anybody else? That's why I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Only if it's out of hand and you know, you get cats all over the place that you can't take care of. That there's something wrong with that. Yeah, they've stopped me from doing a lot of things. Forming relationships, traveling. I just given my personality, they've kind of been a good excuse too. I don't like to fail. <laughs> so if you don't try, then you can't fail, right? And if you got a good excuse not to try, then there you go. These cat ladies in this documentary seem to struggle with connecting with other people. They are socially awkward. For most men, this is not attractive. She mentions that she's not able to travel and she is afraid to fail. Using the cats as a defensive mechanism. I'm not a psychologist, but I think these women need therapy to sort out their issues. And there's something else that's also interesting. Grab a whole bunch of cat boxes and meet me over here. We get about 10 to a dozen cat hoarding calls a year. I would say 99% of my cases, uh, the, the people who are cat hoarders or who think that they're doing what's best for the cats are women. Do I question their motives? Absolutely not. They're doing it for a reason, whether it's because they're lonely or whether it's because they think that they're helping those cats. But I don't think it's healthy. They're just a little outside of, uh, of the uh, realm of normality, I'd say. 99% of these cat hoarders are women, and it's not a coincidence. Check this out. They're my babies. I had a dream once uh, with my cat Ginger that I was breastfeeding her. It's just that I'm their mother and that's what mothers do with their babies. I have this sickness where I need to take Stop care fighting. of things and I don't have a husband and kids to take care of. Izzy. I've always only had my animals to take care of. Not you. Come on, Iz. There you go. Good oh boy. It's like I, I snap. I go into this mode where they, like there's no, there's no other choice. Okay. I don't know. A life without my cats wouldn't be a life. Again, maybe not so many, but yeah, you have to have, you have to. But yeah, these guys, I don't know, take care of me by letting me take care of them. <laughs> she calls it a sickness, but is it a sickness or is it female nature? These women are programmed to go against their nature, which is to produce children. And these cats remind them of babies. I can see why. And this last lady that we're going to highlight will give you a good idea of what's going to happen to a lot of ladies in the future. This is, uh, this is my former life here. So I've only included <laughs> heels, everything, briefcase, rush, rush, looking good, feel good, lots of pressure. I worked 40 years for a bank. I had fun. I traveled the world, um, I met lots of people, I have lots of friends. After the merge of this bank with another bank, um, I lost my job. We were called up in the morning and then they called us one by one and uh, they said, uh, here, we don't know how we're going to do without you, but uh, we're willing to try <laughs> next Monday. <laughs> Look at this. 
in retrospect um, I started to uh, really trap cats and save them um, when I retired I mean until I retired I was I had just a small amount of cats and after that I went crazy and it's not good it saves the cats but it doesn't save me she did everything that they told her to do get your degree get a career have fun travel the world probably rode the hot dog carousel and then she had to retire and had nothing to go home to all of these guys were not good enough because they were not on her level so you got yourself a big bunch of cats to fill that void. So after all said and done, was it worth it? Manosphere, we working. Protect yourself at all times. This video has officially been highlighted.